thought because I'm wondering if one party withholds information so there's not a true meeting of the minds, then that person doesn't have the necessary information to make a valid consideration or of the contract. So in a sense, maybe it could be fraudulent. Right. That's one, but the contract itself, if you remain silent or acquiesce or you accept a benefit or a privilege, then you ass you're assumed to know the contract. Just like people like to say, well, we were never told we're in admiralty law. We weren't told that. But you're walking around with bills of exchange in your pocket trading them for goods and services, using debt to offset debts. So as far as they're concerned, you're acting like a law merchant. If you're acting like a law merchant, you must be a law merchant. Therefore, you must know what law merchants know. But they don't have to tell you what they're doing. 